Uh, Paula, Jessica, this whole thing was really, this whole town was on lockdown because deputies had been trying to find him for hours. He'd been hiding out in the woods. But take a look behind me. This is where really it all began. A woman who lives here says she was just trying to mow her lawn when uh, Steve Godfrey just started firing his AK-47 directly at her. Saw who appeared to be my backyard neighbor holding what appeared to be an automatic weapon pointed at me and my two year old grandson. Michelle Cox says she heard three shots and saw Steve Godfrey standing across the street. It was just a cold stare when I turned around. He was actually looking at me. She took cover as her younger brother Nicholas called 911. I was right here. The Pontotoc County deputies arrived ordering Godfrey to drop his weapon. That's when the guy jumped up off the ground, came around the back of his truck pulled the weapon up and just unloaded on the cop car. Godfrey drove away in his truck and led officers on a chase. Wednesday night, deputies had their guns drawn, trying to find him hiding out in the woods. <laughs> Pontotoc County Sheriff John Christian says Godfrey walked out with his AK-47. Deputies once again ordered him to drop his weapon, but Godfrey allegedly disobeyed and pointed the gun at them. Very sad night when, when someone loses their life, but uh, the officers had no choice and uh, made the right decision. And Godfrey struggled for years with mental illness, and we coming up tonight at 6, we ended up speaking to his mother, who told a really different side, the, the one that you don't end up hearing. It was one who was a police officer, a teacher, coach, even a uh, aspiring professional baseball player. We're live tonight in Bing, Brett Bogansky, KOCO 5 News.